The Trim Extend command for weldments has been enhanced, making it easier and more intuitive than ever to use. It's also added the ability to include weld gaps between structural members. Let's have a look. Here, I have a part that has several segments that need to be trimmed, including some that cross completely through other members. I'll go ahead and open the Trim Extend feature. In the bodies to be trimmed, I'll select the two members that pass through the vertical segments. To manufacture this weldment, I'll eventually need segments on either side of the vertical segments. I'll go ahead and activate the trimming boundary window. Notice when I select the vertical segments for the trim bodies, SolidWorks automatically takes care of splitting each horizontal member into two segments on either side of the vertical member. In previous versions of SolidWorks, I would have had to go back and edit the sketch of the structural member to split the sketch segments. In 2009, the trim feature takes care of it automatically. In the graphics area, SolidWorks has also added flags that let me choose whether to keep or discard any of the segments being affected by the trim. In this example, I want to get rid of the segments outside the perimeter of the frame here. With the trimming boundary window still active, I'll select the other segments as the trim boundary, and more flags appear, letting me choose which segments to keep or discard. To discard a segment, I can simply click on each flag to toggle between the Keep and Discard setting. As you can see, what would have previously taken several steps can all be accomplished using this single Trim feature. Another new option in 2009 is the Weld Gap option. If I check it, I can specify a distance to be left between all of the trimmed bodies. I'll set it to 2 millimeters. To finish up, I'll click OK, and the segments are trimmed, and the weld gaps are created.